how to use the liquid metal plugin to create some interesting duplicated designs. This is using Painter 2015, but the same for 221, 220, etc. Key panel for this, layers. So window and layers. Go to the layers, right down the bottom, select that option there and liquid metal. Panel will appear. And you can use a brush, you can use a circular. I'm going to just use the standard metal. And I'm going to apply a quick design there. Now I could add additional blobs if you want, but uh, I'm just going to go with one blob because what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate that, but you can change the settings. You can modify the, now spacing doesn't appear to do anything. I actually have to say, spacing is one of those controls. I have no idea what it does. Now you can also change the rendering. That just, you can see, flips it over, goes backwards and forwards, but it doesn't change the size. But what you can do, once you've created your blob, you can move it around. So you go to the move option. Now, once you've done that, what you can do, you can move it, but you can also duplicate it. So you can hold down the alter option key. And as you duplicate it, it will duplicate that blob. And you can see drags out, but it's stuck to it. So as long as you keep it fed in, if you pull it all the way out, obviously it will separate. But you can drag it like that, but you can go to a certain point and it will still be blended in with the other blob. And you can go all the way up, create a great frame design simply by just dragging out one blob. And you can always resize the blob. So you can go to the sizing. Now, the blob you're currently duplicating is the one that's active. So if we go and change the size and etc., then only that is changed. Now I could add additional brush strokes to that as well. And I could also select different parts of it. Also, Apply another brush stroke. So I've got that design there. Just go to the move and you can move it around. You can drag it into the existing design or just hold down the alter option key and drag. And again, it can be blended or pulled away from the earlier design. And you can repeat that over and over again. And now, of course, what you can also do, you can go to the selection tool along the top, it's the fourth item. And you can select all of that and then duplicate that if you wish. The last duplicated item is the current one that's selected. So any duplications are from that. You can also modify the size as well as volume, etc., for that item. And then again, hold down the alter option key when, with the move selected and duplicate that design. So you can create some very abstract designs very quickly. Also, of course, you can always clear the entire thing. Click, click the clear at the bottom. I can go to the brush tool. Now there is a slight bug here sometimes where suddenly the selection tool seems to be active. However, I would suggest go between the brush and the circle just to redefine it. And you can always clear it if you don't want, like what you get. So you've got that design now. Of course, I'm using the move as that's the current active design. I can drag that around using the move or I could just select a single part of it using the selection tool. Now that's selected, the rest of it's not and I can drag and pull it away. And again, hold down the Alt drop, that's the selected part, that little bit there. So I can Alt or Option and drag again. So you can create some very abstract designs simply by holding down the Alt or Option key and duplicating. Click OK. Now, if you're seeing, oh, I don't I haven't finished yet. It's live. It's still live. It's still active. So what you can do, you can double click on that layer and you can go back in again. And you can then use maybe the circular option. That's the third item and just drag. Now, what you can also do, you can apply it again and slightly odd that it actually will make it disappear. Not what you always expect. And what ha you end up with a negative space. So it's slightly odd in that respect. But it's quite interesting when you now use the move tool. So I'm moving to, and you can see there's like a space there where it sort of like distorts around. You've got this negative space that sort of distorts the design every time you pass over it. So it is there. You just can't see it. Very odd. And also you can use the erase tool so you can cut into it. 
So you can create some very interesting abstract designs simply by using obviously the initial brush or circular design and then use the arrays to, to cut into it. Sadly, there's no additional shapes or sort of things. So you can only cut with a, like a circular straight line. So you can create that design. Now you can still see it's still been distorted by that sort of negative space. Now you can select parts of that design and then just drag that, or you can select the whole lot and then drag that design around. Now you'll notice as it goes close to it, it distorts the above design, or as you go over it again, it distorts it again. So you can see it just cutting into the original. And of course, what you've got is the active one, so you can hold down the alter option key and drag and pull that. But you also notice it distorts in a slightly odd way because of that weird negative space there. You can see the, that hollow that's appearing. And again, you can hold down the alter option key and drag again. And you can create some very abstract designs by using this approach. This can be repeated over and over again. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Painter, Photoshop, Finity Photo, and many others. Also, any comments always appreciated. Dislike or like. Thank you much.